Kira, how could you? Dot dot dot. Thanks to her, I knew all your moves. Ha ha ha. Well, I think it's just about time for you to die. Welcome to die. I won't allow that. I would just stand by either. Crimson Guard is chilling as well. Bounce that now. You still retain some power from the stone. I will stop you. I will. W I L L L. I will stop you. Is that supposed to be that or is that like a free no, we're tearing a hole in the fabric. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, we're tearing a hole in the time space fabric. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay, I know there's magic and stuff in this. But, really? A hole in the time space and, and you know this how, doll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Island of Madness end, so now it's on to chapter three. After the disappearance of Ash and the others, it is announced that General Magnus has been assassinated by an extremist faction within the security forces. News that a national hero has fallen at the hands of terrorists sends shockwaves through the country and most blame the domestic security agency, which controls the security forces. This results in the ouster of Ronaldo Castillo, held spikes his political arch right. Defense Minister held spikes, highly praised for his quick handling of the terrorist threat. His elected Prime Minister, the following. National security. Hell requests emergency powers from the council. But as soon as he is granted those powers, his tyrannical nature emerges. He abolishes the council, creates a secret police, and establishes a privileged class. Finally, he revives in his and claims that he will place himself on the sacred and inviolable Ishtaria Imperium. Realizing the danger, some citizens join anti-imperial movements, but these are easily crushed by the Crimson Sun. It was the second coming of the Dark Ages, and terror reigned over all. Chapter 3, Escape to Tomorrow. <clears throat> where in the heck are we? I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Whoa, 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 hold on. How would he know that? 
How would he know? Never mind. Ash, something's wrong with the general. Ooh. General, hang in there. Ash, it's no good. It's the end for me. General, no. I've stared death in the face all my life. I know what she looks like and I do not embrace her, I do not fear her cold embrace. Dot dot dot. I was raised in a poor farming village. I was going to lead the simple life, following in my father's footsteps. But then the revolution came and our lives was thrown into turmoil. For country, for ideas, for liberty. But however pretty the slogan, there's no such thing as a good war. They just call me a hero, but I'm just a murderer with blood on his hands. But think of all the people you saved, like Alina. Yeah, I'm say that on there then. Alina. Fifteen years ago I found her wandering around the ruins of her town. Adopting her was my attempt to make... To make... Yeah. Adopting her was my attempt to make restitution for my sins. Ash, don't make the same mistakes I made. You must stop Hell and Dolph. Return this land to its former greatness. I beg you, Ash. Retrieve the magic stone. General. General Magnus. And he's gone. Too bad it's bury him in a weird place. Hmm. Something feels very wrong. What are these things? I don't know, but they're attacking. Are they? Destruction of enemies, death bash. So yeah, no, I'm thinking about it. So yeah, basically it throws you straight into a battle. That's what we're gonna do. Save in battle. There we go. And what I'll do, I'm gonna end it here. I'll upload the video and then see if I can come back and then show you this one which will have probably a quick battle and then a lot more talking. This has quite a bit of talking, this chapter if I remember correctly. And uh, I'm going to take up most of my video time, but yeah. So anyways, time to go and get this up on YouTube and speak to everyone very shortly. Goodbye for now.